Hi, good morning everyone. It's a bright, beautiful day here in Cookville, Tennessee. Well, this is actually a repeat customer. They We did a bunch of work for them, and they, but we only did sections of their driveway with uh, putting in some crusher run, and now they want us to come back and fill in those gaps that we didn't put in, all the really rough stuff, and now uh, we're coming in and fixing all the things that we smoothed out, but it's it had a lot of river rock in it and we could only get rid of so much of it we can only compress so much of it and so now we're coming back and we are going to put lay a bunch of crusher on spread it all out get it compacted having to look at just right and then we will be done so thanks for joining us uh, we're gonna show you how it's all done we got about a uh, seven so about 150 tons of gravel coming our way today we got some observers today so this is kind of what i'm talking about is this uh it's just this river rock there's some fines in here some river rock and it uh it's kind of got them mixed all up and it's um it's just it's just not as smooth as the areas where we put the crush so they uh wanted us to come back in and get everything smoothed out
just wrapped this up. We blended everything in really nicely. This material was great. I really appreciate Rogers uh, bringing this material in. Let's take a look and uh, we'll, I'll talk you through it. Uh, Steve did a great job. I didn't catch the other driver's name, but uh, the guys at Rogers always do a good job for me. This uh, material compacted really nicely. So this is, this is actually over the old driveway now. And you can see that, boy, it almost looks like, almost looks like a concrete road in, so, in a lot of ways. And quite honestly, by the time this dries, there's a little moisture in it. By the time this dries and gets uh, driven over a little more, it's, it's gonna be concrete, just about. Uh, these little tracks here that uh, we left over, they'll just disappear when uh, when the cars drive over it. That's nothing that I ever worry about. Here's the thing is that you can get it to compact like this and then people take it easy on the driveways, then it can last a really long time. You can see here, this is where we transitioned into the old area and uh, where we blended it back in with this turn right in here. And you can see that transition nice and smooth. This is the old stuff. This is what we did last time. And it's still holding up really well. These guys aren't ge necessarily gentle on their driveway, but you can see it all looks uh, it all looks good. So here's the next part of the section that we laid back in. Put some more crusher on. This actually is a little tricky here. There's some dip right here. Then it comes up and then it rolls to the left. And uh, getting all that to behave was uh, a bit of a handful, but we got it done. And it looks all, it's sloping nicely. Shouldn't have any uh, issues with potholes, etc. Where you have that transition into the concrete crossover. And uh, you can see we smoothed all this out. We're going into the final section here where, uh, where we had um, just dropped the final section of Crush and Run. You can see here that this all came out nicely as well. Compacted really well. And I think they're gonna be super happy with it. So that's it.